have some big news from the Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs. They have traded Legereus Sneed to the Titans for a third round pick and a swap of a seventh round pick. I find this very curious. Craig Carton, explain to me why the Chiefs said goodbye to one of their best defensive players. Well, uh, to me, this tells you that they were just not committed to at any point giving him the long-term deal yeah. for the money that yeah. you know top five, top ten cornerbacks get in the league. That's the only thing I can think of because they had already franchised him, meaning he was going to make about $18 million, give or take a couple shekels there this year. And they trade him basically for nothing. Mm -hmm. You really get nothing back in 2024. You get a mid-round pick in 2025. Uh, and to me, that's, that's troubling if I'm a Kansas City Chiefs fan because the notion was in our attempt to three-peat, which no team has ever done in the history of the NFL, we're going to come back with all our best players. Yep. Chris Jones gets signed, makes sense. Well, yep. after Chris Jones, who's clearly their best defensive player, I don't think there's an argument that LeJarius Sneed was their best defensive back. Obviously, he made the biggest plays in the postseason, most notably the play against the Ravens and Zay Flowers right there uh, at the goal line to stop a touchdown and to stop Baltimore from getting within three in the AFC Championship game. And I thought, yeah, of course they bring Sneed back. He'd be the biggest in-demand cornerback in the open market. What's uh, What I can't figure out, and I've been trying to, is – why they got so little in return for him. Mm. Because this is a top quality defensive back on the right side of 30, and yet they did not get a significant return. So that I don't understand that part. I also don't understand why they were so quick to get rid of him and not wait until we were getting closer to the draft. Like, there was no benefit to them to do this deal over the weekend. Uh. And if you're going to move him... You know, you just had the coaches and GMs all together. So, you know, guys are talking about possible deals and trades as we get closer now to the draft, which is essentially a month away right now. Why not wait a little bit, see how things break out for other teams? I got to believe there's another team out there, and I would say an NFC team as opposed to the Titans, an AFC team that's rebuilt themselves in an amazing fashion this offseason and now are a real threat to A, compete in their division, sure. and then maybe beyond that, if Will Levis, of course, is a legitimate quarterback going into year two. But for the life of me, I can't figure out how this makes the Chiefs better. Because they have depth, and they have young depth. And you talk about having Trent McDuffie, Justin Reed, and Shadarius Ward in the secondary. The reason they let him go because of the depth they do have. Now, the reason why they let Chris Jones go, him being the most important piece, because they didn't have an heir apparent to Chris Jones. There was nobody that was going to have the impact that Chris Jones had on that roster, bottom line. Also, the market is dim for cornerbacks. There's only two cornerbacks in the league making $10 million, right? And one of them is not right now, Shadarius, uh, excuse me, uh, Darius Sneed. Overall, if you talk about what the Kansas City are worried about is go to, go to 2000. 2025, they got to resign uh, uh, Creed Humphreys, uh, Trey Smith, their right guard. Sure. They got to get another receiver. So they got to spend their money wisely, locking it all up on a 27 year old quarter uh, corner who's going to want 28 million. This doesn't make but sense. But I would tell you this all the pressure now goes on Trent McDuffie, who's a 23 year old. Yep. Yep. And you could argue maybe he's a better cover cornerback. I, I mean, maybe not. But no, Speed is the best. He had Justin That's Jefferson. He had Tyreek Hill. He shut them all down. But now you just put the pressure on a 23-year-old in McDuffie, who's a very good player, obviously, to now become the best defensive back you got. I just don't see how this makes them better. And if the idea was, well, we needed the money to get Jones, I would have understood that. But you got Jones, oh, and you had him franchised. So let's go. Like To me, this isn't about winning a fourth and fifth Super Bowl. This is about can I three-peat? I'll worry about 2025 when I get to it. I, I completely agree. And, and the Jerry Sneed made plays that won them games. Sure. They yeah. won games because of his plays. That Ravens game, that one play, I think they were down 10 at the time. Yeah. And they go in and they score that touchdown. Big play. That is a huge play. That is, that is a season-saving play. Yep. And, and from my mind, I don't understand why you wouldn't franchise him play another year, try to three-peat, and then worry about it later. Well, so they did franchise him. They just decided that we don't want to spend $18 million bucks after we had made the move to franchise him. Right. Then, of course, you have to get rid of the tag so they can trade him. But it also shows you that there's a movement now in the NFL that we're going to become aware of in the next couple of years, which we've already seen with running backs, 
We're now going to start devaluing cornerbacks. 100%. Mm. Right? We don't want to pay a cornerback who's 29 years old, even though he's a rock star. We're not paying that dude 18 million bucks. And we're sure as hell are not going to give that guy a four year contract for 100 million bucks or north of 80 million dollars. So you're now going to see a devaluing of big time contracts for late 20 year old cornerbacks. And to me, I think, you know, you'd kind of. You know, bite off your nose to spite your face a little bit there as well. So there's Jordan Love setting the bar at Super Bowl. Woo-hoo! Are the Packers Super Bowl contenders? <laughs> no, they're not Super Bowl contenders. I appreciate the confidence, so. Yeah. Like, there's two things. There's one, appreciating a kid's confidence, because I want my starting quarterback to feel yeah. that way, exactly. that we have a chance to make the Super Bowl. But then there's the you know, real world, where I live in from time to time, <laughs> and that is I want my quarterback to say it, even though it ain't true. The Green Bay Packers have come in third place in their own division this year. Oh, that is Craig, on the table. Oh, Craig, now, Craig, Craig, Craig. I'm not telling you they're going to come in third. I want to be clear. They could come in third place. Timmy oh, Chicago yeah. Bears are going to be better with Caleb Williams and all the other oh, pieces they added. Really the Detroit unhinged. Lions won the division last year. I'll give you Minnesota. I'll take them out of the mix because I'm a kind, giving guy. But there's a good chance. Those Green Bay Packers come in third place. Now, maybe that's good enough to get as a wild card, but they are not making a run really, um, to a Super Bowl. You know what that's makes crazy me, talk. You know what makes me want to barf at my butt? I know. The fact that <laughs> you <laughs> you do things, you say things without it's only crazy. Like you come to you do your tone deaf. This, think about what Green Bay's dealing with right now. This is the post Rogers era. They yeah. had no idea this young man was going to be as good as he is in his is first he that year. Good? They walked into yes. the San Francisco yes, game to, with all intent to beat the San Francisco 49ers yeah. and had him all the way down to the wire. Yeah. You're talking about a happened? young quarterback right now yeah. who's even killed on face and delivers time after time. Yeah. After week nine, his numbers shot through the roof yeah. with this young receiving core. They had the biggest offensive line in, in all of football. On top of that, one of the key acquisitions of this free agency was Xavier McKinney. They showed up mm-hmm. the safety position. This team is primed and ready to go to, to the what? Super Bowl. Bottom line. I bet you win oh. a division first and then worry about winning the Super Bowl. Well, well, what about are you that? talking about? Well, they how whipped about up on your Cowboys how about that? in the first round. And by the way, I know they gave the Cowboys a good run. I'm not saying they didn't until this your is, guy, Jordan Love, decided to throw the ball across his body in the middle of the field, which could have been one picked bad decision. by three different defenders. We all make bad decisions, like yeah. that shirt you wore this morning. But at the end of the day, yeah. that's not the issue. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, what, what I'm saying is, Woo-hoo. this is the second youngest team. This is the youngest team in football, and okay, they Willie. Uh-huh. this year. Okay, this, Willie. This shirt? Horrible shirt. Okay, Willie. <laughs> horrible shirt. Okay, Willie. I Horrible agree with Willie. Yeah. I agree with Willie. That's I'm right. not talking about your shirt. I'm not talking about your shirt, but it is bad. But anyway, I agree with Willie, but Dang I up with on Jordan Love. Ahead. Jordan Love, I think yeah. he has a lot of confidence. Yeah. He saw what his team could do. I think that he uh, he wants to – he's telling him, he's yeah. telling his team, look, we, we go to the – uh, all the way to the Super Bowl, but we got to come in ready, and I'm putting the onuses on y'all right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's go start it. less thinking about it good. right now. So, so you're picking it. them to win the division. They're yes. going to beat the Lions? No, no chance. Yes. They're better than Detroit right now. No, they're okay. not no. better than Detroit. You're wrong. That is incorrect. Yeah, no, I'm going to talk about this. Good. 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 Timmy, Just I'm with down. you. These guys Just, are crazy sometimes, up, right? But you brought it up. <laughs> I'm just answering his question. I sat in mind of my own business. You never mind your own business. Never. Look, I would say this. If Jordan Love gets better from the way he ended last season, I think he will. then the Green Bay Packers have a legitimate franchise quarterback. I think and, he yes, they could win the division. But... I also saw Jordan Love play every game this past year. And you can't say, I'm going to forget about the first eight games <laughs> and only concentrate on the next nine. Because that's not real. Let's take the entire. Why isn't it real? Because you got to take the entire season. Why? Why? When they made the playoffs. Why? They beat look, 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 they, look what the Buffalo Bills did. Yeah, you know, no, until, 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 until my man um, I love that point. said what he said, then they had to rally behind the coach. That's right. And other than before that, Fair they enough. was going fears away. Fair enough. Now, I think Timmy makes a good Very point. Good that point. The only thing I'd come back on you and Timmy is that, you know, at least with Josh Allen, I've got a body of work. I know what Josh Allen is. That's unfair. 
You're talking about a quarterback who, before the season, Aaron Rodgers was the quarterback. This is his first full season. Yeah. His right. one start was – And he had eight games where he wasn't that great. Yes. Well, yeah, his first year start. Okay. You know, let's, so a, let's just tell the easy, whole story. It's easy to say Josh Allen and have belief in him. The man has been to multiple playoffs and has showdowns with Patrick Mahomes. I'm Mahal just and sharing. Burr. It's like I take a cold apple pie out of but the fridge. Saying, you can't it say, don't taste very but, good. But, but you when I microwave it, it tastes but, good. But you're not comparing apples to apples. they go to the playoffs? Yes. Green Bay, yes. And who they beat? We know who they beat. They beat the where, Dallas Cowboys. Where? In Dallas. Okay, so w- w- <laughs> look at his proof. And, and had the proof. Niners with the uh, gloves on yeah, like this. Yeah, and the Niners, Niners with Jordan Love yes. across the body interception. They're going to win that game. Okay, yes. but thank you. No, Bottom line. They, they could have. They're going they to win have. that game and tie that game up with their field goal. Well, I'm glad it's we always all, one bad I'm pass. glad we all agree on one thing. Or oh, one fumble. If it wasn't for Jordan Love, they would have advanced in the playoffs. Jordan loves their quarterback. But they your did words, make the playoffs. Your words I are They did make the playoffs, and they had a chance. They beat the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas when everybody thought Dallas um, was going to be going to the Super Human resources are being attacked. I'm being attacked. <laughs> uh, I'm, in an, I'm in an unsafe work environment. I'm being attacked. That, that's all. I know how to, I know how to if, 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 if politely say, I know how to shut both of them up. Can I give him a basketball? He gets a football. Good. Do what you do. What else you got, Jacoby? <laughs> Moving on to third and football, let's talk about one of your favorite receivers, Who? Brandon I. I love him. There yes. are reports that they will give Little him Mike an Tom. extension <laughs> after the NFL draft. Is there any chance that the 49ers lose the services of Brandon Ayuk? I, I've said from day one that they're never going to walk away from Brandon Ayuk. He's too damn good. Yes. And I don't care if he is Mike Tomlin's son or not. Uh, the reality <laughs> to me, or if, he, or, or, if he even, or if he just looks like him. Uh, but I do want to see the Memorial Povich one day because I want to find out. <laughs> I am not the father. In any event, what, you know, people have this notion that it's hard to keep really good players because of this you know, silly little thing called the salary cap. And San Francisco, like other really good teams and franchises, prove year after year if you've got the right people managing the cap, you can sign everybody and you can re-sign everybody you want. So the notion that a team that's built to win right now and for the next couple of years based on the age of their stars uh, would just walk away blindly from a great talent like Ayuk has never made any sense to me. I'm not an insider with San Francisco. If those people are telling you that the, you know, kind of the word around the water cooler is that they're already working on an extension and they can get it done post-draft, I buy that because that makes sense. Turning your back and walking away from an all-world talent like Ayuk, knowing that Debo's had injury problems, McCaffrey gets leg problems throughout seasons, yeah. and he's the guy i got to be able to count on if and when those guys do go down, which they do. I, I look, makes sense to me. And the fact that Pittsburgh may or may not have interest in Brandon Ayuk, so what? Every team would have interest in Brandon Ayuk because he's a great wide receiver. He's also making, what, $14 million bucks this year uh, in that uh, you know, fifth-year option. And I think San Francisco will do everything in their power to keep him long-term because he is not a good wide receiver. He is a great wide receiver. And you don't let those guys walk out the door for nothing. I agree with you. I think the biggest fear of San Francisco 49 is dealing with is the fact that they don't want to do what the Titans did by letting A.J. Brown out the door and yeah. get his best years with the Eagles, right? They don't want to see that happen. However, they're handcuffed right now because between Debo, Kittle, and CMC, and now understand this, they got Brock Purdy You got Purdy two more years to worry about Brock, but you're right. Yeah, but Eventually. you got to understand, you, him making the NFC uh, Championship and making the Super Bowl, yep. he's going to want his money now. Yep. And so they're going to have to figure that out. So I don't think they have the money to pay him. I can see them walking away from him, um, and I wouldn't be surprised he lands somewhere like the black and gold. Where's my damn top? Yeah, no doubt. So, oh, 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 here we oh, go. really yeah. came in an argumentative move today, yeah. which is uh, <laughs> very troubling for me since I stand or sit next to him. <laughs> hey there. Thank you so much for watching The Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1, so check them out too.